We're staying on top of breaking news. A prisoner swap sending WNBA star Brittany Griner home in time for the holidays. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. Right now, Griner is on a plane on her way back to the U.S. after being detained in Russia for the last nine months. CBS's Deborah Alfaron has details on the deal that the White House negotiated. Sherelle Griner stood by the president this morning as he announced her wife, Brittany Griner, has been released from a Russian prison and is coming home. Over the last nine months, you all have been um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here. Um, overwhelmed with emotions. Just moments earlier, she and President Biden spoke with Brittany, who was released in the UAE as part of a prisoner swap. I'm glad to be able to say that Brittany's in good spirits. She uh, She's relieved to finally be heading home. Griner was arrested February 17th at a Moscow airport with less than a gram of cannabis oil and later sentenced to nine years in prison. In exchange for Griner, the U.S. released Russian arms dealer Victor Boot, who is serving a 25-year sentence for conspiring to kill Americans by selling weapons to terrorists. While the celebrations for Griner's release are just beginning, they are tempered by the fact that former Marine Paul Whelan, he was not part of this deal. He remains behind bars in Russia. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. We brought home Trevor Reed when we had a chance early this year. Sadly, for totally illegitimate reasons, Russia is treating Paul's case differently than Brittany's. Whelan's brother issued a statement expressing joy for Griner's family, but added, how do you continue to survive day after day when you know that your government has failed twice to free you from a foreign prison? I can't imagine he retains any hope that a government will negotiate his freedom at this point. We'll keep negotiating in good faith for Paul's release. I guarantee that. I say that to the family. I guarantee you. Whelan has already served nearly four years in prison on espionage charges, which the U.S. calls false. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House.